Okay, so um, a SQL battle, uh, Simon is an evidence based um, campaign. Um, so, this is for the, the set of software to year in particular, and Sherry's going to spot why I'm not surprised at. But um, for about a year now, we've been collecting jobs, we've been scraping jobs from our, our website. And uh, at the moment, we have uh, we over 104,000 uh, academic jobs that we've scraped off. A job is typically what you see here, um, it's divided into sections. We can actually sort of extract information from that. At the top, you've got some metadata which consists of salaries, location, etc. Then you've got a job description, and then you've got some additional metadata uh, at the bottom of the page. And what we can do is we can flatten these uh, HTML uh, excerpts uh, into a CSV file, and we can actually use that to data mine. The idea is what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish how many academic jobs require software engineering skills. Uh, and in particular, that's been repeated in the industry set software engineering campaign that James and Simon have both involved in. And to try to start to create part of the research software engineers with an academic environment. So, so we've been basically data mining that. We've been, we can extract locations, so that gives an idea of where most of the concentration of jobs are actually academic jobs are located within the UK. Um, we've got a particular London kind of clustering, uh, plus the North London, etc. And in Scotland, we've got uh, the central for the region with Glasgow and the government and employment centres. Um, you can also start doing interesting things, which is actually with the salaries by location and everything else. And I've always been interested in even uh, you go over here. Because what you have here right, is the maximum, the minimum, uh, or the, the first quarter, the second quarter, and that's the median. And they do in Scotland, uh, they do quite well, they can do it to some of the southeast of England and everything else, which is kind of neat. Um, the main idea is at some point, and we've been having a lot of people trying to do this. To separate the job, academic jobs into software jobs and non-software jobs, and then try and see what the trends are. Okay.